Hello everyone. This is Vishwas and uh, welcome back to our Webpack series. As a part of this series, we are continue exploring Webpack from basic to advanced. And uh, as a part of the previous uh, two, three videos, we went with one of the important topics of Webpack, that is Webpack loaders. And uh, as a part of this video, let's continue our discussion on how we can add the multiple entries to the uh, Webpack configuration. For that, let's continue understanding our application that we are working on. Uh, if you look at here, we created this application with single HTML page. That means we have only one page here and uh, all the content like images, uh, CSS and JavaScript, everything is available on single page itself. But if you go with traditional JavaScript and HTML approach, there is high chances of we can have the multiple pages. Like we can have the home page, we can have the different page for a vendor, we can have the different page for products. And those pages can be independently accessible. And in that case, we need to configure Webpack with multiple entries. Also, if you go with latest single page applications approach, like if you go with any framework like Angular or if you go with React, then there we have single file as an entry point and we will not face this kind of challenges there so let's move to the vs code and uh, let's understand more on that now now in vs code we continue working on our webpack loader application uh, in this application i added the one more html file that is explore.html then we have uh, explore.js file and uh, similarly we have the file for css and uh, if you go to explore.html uh, it will be showing list of some food items and uh, in explore.js file we have some hide and show logic and uh, then taking some of the dummy images and uh, adding it to the respective food item and uh, in css file we have all the required css available now let's go to the application and understand the new changes. If you remember, we are continue working on this application and uh, we successfully integrated all the required file types on our homepage. And now here I have added one button. When you click on this button, it will redirect us to the new page. And uh, here we are showing a couple of food items. And uh, when I click on explore more, you will see a few more extra items here. And uh, then we have the home button available here. When we click on this home button, uh, the user will redirect it to the home page. And uh, if you observe here, we have completely new page that is explore.html. That means if you refresh this page or directly hit this particular URL in browser, you are able to access explore.html page directly independent of home page. Now let's understand the uh, network files also. Uh, if you go to the network tab and uh, if I refresh my application, you will see the home page is loaded from bundle.js. But uh, if I go to a uh, second page, you will see the files are loaded directly from our code. So our aim is to convert this page also into the web pack. And for that, we need to go with multi-entry configuration. So let's start with the actual implementation. For that, I will go to the VS code. Before starting actual Webpack configuration, I will do some changes in my explore.html where I will first remove the script tag. And uh, then I will also remove the uh, respective CSS file from here. And uh, we'll add those through the JavaScript file. Let me go here and uh, start importing that uh, CSS file. Let's go to the style folder and uh, from style folder, we will use explore.css file here. Once this is done, now let's move to our Webpack configuration file. And uh, if you go here, we will see in entry till now, we only have index.js file. And uh, now we will work on adding the uh, multi-entry configuration. And to go with multi-entry configuration, we need to use object here. 
inside object i will have particular key and uh, for that i will add my index.js file here and uh, second entry i will add for explore right and uh, there i will use explore.js so this is all the configuration required now we have two pages here so we are going with two entry if you have more pages we can add those entries here as well also if you talk about these keys we can give any name here now based on our entry file right uh, the webpack go through index.js it will look for all the uh, dependencies there and create the dependency graph and finally it will create one bundle file similarly for the second entry it will go to the explore.js file uh, look for all the uh, dependencies uh, transitive dependencies and create the dependency graph and finally it will create one more bundle.js file this is the initial changes now save these changes and uh, let's go to the terminal and uh, run our build for that i will do the npm run build command let's wait for few seconds now our build is completed and the build is failing due to some reason so let's understand it now if you go here you will see the error uh, it's conflict and uh, it's saying that multiple chunks emit asset to the same file name uh, bundle.js the error is simple it's saying that like we have multiple entry file and the content of both the entry file is finally we are trying to put into the single file that is bundle.js and that is not allowed here if you have multiple entry file we should have multiple output file now to add multiple files let's add one placeholder here and uh, give dot that means uh, it will create now uh, the file output files based on your entry the first file will be uh, it will take key from here and it will replace with name uh, that means our output file will be a index.bundle.js and for second file it will create the file like explore.bundle.js so let's save these changes and uh, run our build again for that i will do npm run build again let's wait until it's complete now our build is successful and uh, if you look at our dist folder you will see two different file gets created one is the index.bundle.js and the second one is explore.bundle.js now let's go to our html file and uh, add the bundle script here src equal to from dist folder uh, we will add uh, explore.bundle.js let's close our script tag here also go to the index.html and update our file here now it will be a index.bundle.js once these changes are done now go to our application again and run it i just need to refresh my application and now you will see the application is running from uh, bundle.js file similarly if i go to the home page it is running from uh, index.bundle.js and uh, if you see here our functionality is working as expected now we can also configure our entry further uh, like if you go to our webpack config file instead of giving the name like index.bundle.js we can specify name of our choice here so if i want to one specific name for my index output file we we need some changes and uh, we need to convert it as object so in object i need to uh, import it in import we have the similar file and the now file name i can give of my choice it could be anything for now i have given name as a main entry.js and uh, now if i run build again 
now our build is successful and if you go over a dist folder you will see uh, the new file gets added that is main entry.js and the previous file which is related to index.bundle.js gets removed now go to our index.html file and uh, just update this particular path and uh, you will see our application should work as expected let's go to the home folder refresh it and you will see here uh, the content now fetched from main entry not js and uh, if i click on my title you will see the toast message here that means our javascript is working as expected currently we are running our build in development mode but if you want to run build in production mode we can configure our output bundle file in much better way we can use content hash here so instead of name let me use content hash and uh, i will use same initial configuration for my uh, index entry that means something like this and uh, we'll remove this one now let's run our build again now our build is successful and if you go to the disk folder you will see both the files are created with unique hashing name and this hashing is helpful for uh, implement the caching in much better way i think this is all about the multiple entry file and uh, different output option if you need more understanding on that uh, you can go to the official website of the webpack um, in concepts you will find the uh, entry point document and uh, as well as the output here and uh, also if you go to the configuration here uh, you will see more detail about the entry and uh, output here if you're interested let's explore those options as well and uh, get more understanding around the webpack that's all for this video uh, let's continue in next video and uh, explore few more interesting stuff around the webpack till now thank you bye